Ted Cruz has got to be one of the smartest but dumbest politicians in history. He goes to New York and they ran him out of New York. Specifically, they ran him out of the Bronx. So he comes to Indiana where, you know, quote unquote, this is supposed to be his firewall, his last stand. He gives a campaign rally. Then he sees a bunch of Trump supporters and instead of ignoring them, like anybody with some sense would do, he decides he's going to go over and engage them. Watch this. Okay, so but we can show you choking like a dog, and then you oh. can find your own words okay. instead of saying choking like a dog. I'd like better words. Uh, than here's that. Ted Cruz leaving a campaign stop in Marion, in Indiana, yesterday, when about a half dozen Donald Trump supporters were across the street holding signs and crying out, "Lose with Cruz and do the math." That's when Cruz passed by his motorcade and went over Don't do it. to speak Don't with do it. them. Why would you do that? Because when you do that, right. this happens. Stupid. I'm running to be everyone's president. Those who vote for me, even those we don't want you. Well, you're, you're entitled to your view, sir, and I will respect it. In fact, I will do the math. I will do you ask Casey to drop out, it's your turn. Well, take your own word. You know on the wall that Donald told the New York Times editorial has not been on the wall. He's not going to deport anyone. Once again, line 10. Well, sir. So take down ISIS. So take down the Civilized people don't just scream and yell at each other. I'm not yelling at you. Where's your Goldman Sachs jacket at? We know your wife works there. Actually, I was supported by and am supported by 1.3 million contributors all over the country. Our average contribution is $60. Donald Trump is deceiving. He is playing you for a chump. Sir, America is a better country without you. <laughs> Point out, I have treated you respectfully the entire time. And a question that everyone here should ask. Are you Canadian? Do you want your kids, do you want your kids repeating the words of Donald Trump? <laughs> that was flippin' hilarious. I mean, it, it, it doesn't get much funnier than that. Every time, and see, Cruz's problem is he likes to, to, to stop and pause. And when you stop and pause, you give people openings to say crap. And th that guy, I, I got to hand it to him. He, he, he obviously he was a Trump supporter and he could have been a plant, but uh, he couldn't have gotten over any better than he did. And, and everybody was cracking up when they saw this thing. Let me play uh, the, uh, the rest of the clip from Morning Joe. I'll say two things. What's he doing? I've never seen anything like that. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's, it's reminiscent of the end of the Rubio campaign, right? The end of the Rubio campaign when he went for like a whole different thing. It went longer. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? You don't walk over no, to protest. And the minute the guy started doing like that's the problem when you have the Shakespearean pauses or the pitter pauses, whichever they are. Leave room. You, oh, you leave room for a guy to get the question that everyone if, is asking. Guy, are you if, if that guy is not on Howard Stern by Thursday. <laughs> America. So, okay, so when did he do that, Mark? I think he tried to shake things up because yeah. the dynamics died great, but I, I mean, I've literally never seen a candidate do anything like that. Like, I've seen people be heckled and walk over, like Joe the Plumber type situation, but you walk away. I don't think he's going to win them over with his Trump Princeton, supporters. His Princeton debate skills? I mean, it was... It oh, was, my God. No, but but I think, I think Cruz is throwing be, everything yeah. against the wall. He can, he can well, throw, right? Well, we got, more. Really we got more. He really is. We got more. You mentioned this... That was, that was wild. I mean, that was absolutely wild. Now, this was the, the uh, second uh, cruise fail. Now, some people may consider it uh, a cruise or win, but uh, I, I believe it was absolutely a cruise fail when he chastises a, a 10 or 11 year old kid for uh, saying that he sucks. This 10 year old. Yeah. Because you have a mind like a 10-year-old, you want to see this. This is Ted Cruz That's and a child from Sunday. That is hateful. Take Let's talk about this. All right, apparently there's a young man who's having some problems. Thank 
Thank you, son. You know, I appreciate your sharing your views. You know, one of the things that hopefully someone has told you is that children should actually speak with respect. In my household, when a child behaves that way, they get a spanking. Spanking? Did they just ask court to put your own kid out? Yeah. 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 This is like version of Monty. Hey, 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 just escort a 10 year old out? <laughs> this is what you wanted to stop Trump? That is what you thought would stop Trump. Think about this. Everybody think Mark about Alfred. this. Why? Let's go back to Mark Alfred. Mark what? Alfred. In the uh, Mark world. Alfred. Politics 101. You escort a 10 year old kid out and then lecture him and say you deserve a spank. I don't think you get negative on the 10 year old man. Maybe that just. What's did. wrong? With your party. Uh, go ahead, go ahead, Mark. Just, it just, it's not into this. This is not cresting well for the Cruz campaign. But I... this, that, that, that was, a, that was a good one too. Ted Cruz uh, attacking a ten-year-old kid who said that he sucks, and they walk him out. Tonight is going it is the end. Now whether Cruz stays in or not, you know, he, his ego is going to probably uh, uh, make him stay in. But uh, those two clips alone should be enough to convince any rational person that uh, Ted Cruz is not the one.